Okay, we're leaving Chapel Hill. Okay, so we are on our way to Key Largo, Florida. We are in South Carolina right now. And there's rain on the forecast for almost every day. But I don't think there's anything we can do about that. Just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, so here we are in Key Largo. It's a little hot. I don't know why I'm wearing this hoodie. Uh, you know, I'm just confused because I came from North Carolina and it's freezing up there. We just left John Penny Camp Marina and we're going through the mangroves here. It's a beautiful morning. We were worried it was going to be too windy and it still might be. They go around the perimeter. That's where the stick is. It's coming about. Another yellow ball back there, right? Yeah, that would be far Remember there? Okay. And hey, maybe we should motor into this. Yeah. 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 He just had. He's gonna make it just fine. Okay, tack. Just wait. Okay, I 
I guess that's good. Try it again. Finally made it out to this wicked, windy reef day.
I guess let's head in. Yep. That's our friend Steve out there, and he has just lost his rudder. Well, he didn't lose his rudder, his bracket broke or something. His gudgeon pin or bracket has broken. So he is motoring. Okay, well we are headed straight for the channel and eventually you're going to see a red triangle. He was able to bring her in all the way back to the marina using his outboard, which was a struggle because it doesn't steer nearly as well as the rudder. But the next morning at the crack of dawn, we woke up, we were in the parking lot, hammering and bending on that bracket. I really wished we had shot some video, but we were in the heat of the moment and we just had to work on it. Now I'm a welder, so I knew we needed to do most of the prep work so that if we could find a welder, they could easily see that all they had to do was just zap it. Then we started to talk to our neighbors on another sailboat who were actually pretty surprised that we had made it out to the reef. I guess because the weather was actually so bad that the dive shop 
put a sign out on the door saying that no boats would be rented that day. So we felt pretty awesome about that. And then we talked to our dock master, who was a really nice guy who gave us directions to a welder just around the corner named Dave in a nondescript building, uh, who was an awesome guy that saved the day with his TIG welder for a mere 60 bucks. And Steve was back in business in an hour. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and hit the alarm bell. Peace.